Hello guys, it's Architect Zayed here. Welcome back to another lesson of how to create roofing tiles in Revit. Okay, let's start by creating our roof. A very simple roof. It will ask you which level do you want it so we don't even have a wall. Let's just choose any level. I will choose level 1 for instance. Put OK. Very simple roof. Just normal square roof. Let's see the size. Okay, nice. And then the distance is at your own pace. Add any measurement you want it to be present. Okay, nice. We have our roof. Good. Let's go to 3D. Okay, now we have our roof in 3D. What we are going to do in order to create a 3D roof, you have to create mass. The mass to pattern, pattern to changing the roof tile. Sorry, I am kind of. <laughs> They're speaking in tongues so let me show you how it's done so that you will understand what i am what i really mean by massing pattern and putting the roof tile changing the pattern to roof tile okay let's create massing first go to massing click on it and then in place mass click just press and close it will ask you which name you want it to be you can choose any name you can put your name you can put any name you want to press and okay <clears throat> all right now we want to create profiles by setting a plane first i want to if you if you kind of lost that file you're using what you're going to do is press on insert load family go to the place you saved your family the family you created the roof tile you created click on it boom your family is in so you don't have to worry thinking oh, how do i bring in the family do i bring it through components no this is the way to bring it in now let's draw set a plan face you are we are going to draw on this face okay then press on okay pick line so we would like to put an offset where i would like to put an offset is because if i put an offset here let's say 20 or let's say 25 if i put an offset here i kind of have this gap between to which my roof 25 is a bit too small let me put 30 the gap to which so that my roof will not interlock each other there will be a bit of a gap so that i can have a reach on my roof so the last one i don't want zero okay okay now use on I'll close this end where is my oh trim to extend here and here okay and this one is okay I think this one too has exceeded here and here nice and then not good sorry i ended okay now i have my profile that's one so let me create all of them you know we have three faces four faces sorry create all of them let me adjust this graphical shenanigans all right now you can see it clearly okay now pick on line again first set profile let's use this first no, let me use this one set profile and then pick and then put on 30 again nice 30 and then pick line okay 
good last one do not put always remember don't put the distance between here and here is because of the reach that's why we are leaving it this way is because of the reach okay now trim to extend because this and this has exceeded another trim to extend this and this good next let's set another plane let the plane to be this face okay pick on line set 30 nice and then let's put it this way and this way okay and then remove the 30 and leave zero and then press on this one click on your trim to extend okay okay we have the last phase to go for which is this one let's go for it set a plan nice pick line press 30 okay and then good remove the 30 and then nice trim and extend okay man extend nice we are we all created a file a, a profile here here and here on all the faces now what we are going to do select on one of it and then create form it will create something big you think ah oh, why is my own big no problem all you have to do let's change it to maybe 20 the height should be 20 nice and divide face you see the face is perfectly divided but we want the distance of 300 you know we used 306 for our last video in our tiles so why we're using 300 is because i told you that six is the excess is the way that other tile will overlap with the other one so we're going to use 300 instead of 306 here change this to distance not to number distance and change your measurements to 300 and then the other one too change it to 300 nice good we're done with this face press on escape press and then let's press on one another one again create form change it to 20 press on ok and then divide faces mm, this one kind of come out in in a very bad manner so we are going to let's say maybe adjust it by let's try 40 40 degrees mostly 40 does the trick now 40 is too small i think 45 should do the trick mm -mm. 45 is not our lucky charm let's go for 50. you know i'm doing trial by error so you have to do yours mm, 50 is okay not perfectly aligned but okay All right now we have it then click on the other one too no oh, sorry i did not change the distance change it to distance 3 300 change it to 3 300 change the distance here to 300 too
okay we are done with this one and then let's go to another face create form change the height to 20 you see this process is a bit too hectic but if you're going for realistic rendering you will definitely want to do so you see this face is also okay we don't need to adjust the angle all you have to do is change the distance to 300 too and another distance again to 300 good now let's go to another one click here and create form again change the distance to 20 <laughs> the process is a bit hectic create oh sorry control z it's already created now divide faces well let's try putting 50 again nice i think it's okay no it's not okay <laughs> let's try 55 mm -mm. not close to okay let's try 45 hopefully it works mm. let's try 40 Mm, 40 is our lucky charm. It's okay. Now let's change the distance from here to 300 and the other distance to, to 300. Nice. So now we are done with creating the profile. Sorry, the process is a bit hectic. All you have to do click on it, click here. You will find the the, the tile we created here it is the tile we imported click on it now it will change automatically you see so now you see one thing you see our tile is moving this direction we want it to be flowing downwards so all you have to do is click on it and let's change it by 90 degrees and click on OK. Now there is another issue again. It's going upwards. So all you have to do is click plus or minus 180. Oh, 180 plus this is to, it will be 270. Plus 90, it will be 270. It will be looking downwards now. You see what I mean? It's now looking downwards perfectly and accurately. So you see the, the 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 chamfer in here, the chamfer in here, it's okay. You can see the the the, the chamfer. In. Now the next one, click on it. Okay. I think it's going upwards. Yep, it's going upwards. Plus or minus 180. 180 plus 1 for plus 40 is equals to 220. Click and the magic is done. Click on this one too. And then click on pattern family we created so it's also going this way plus or minus 180 sorry 90 but since we already did the same thing to the other part let's try 270 and see it works it works out okay okay it works out perfectly now click on this last part of it okay 
and here we have it in which direction in this direction so let's add 90 to it we have 90 plus 50 it should be 140 140 I think it's going to look downwards now it's looking upwards I guess yep it's looking upwards so we are going to change it plus or minus 180 plus or minus 180 so 180 plus 140 is 100 220 320 sorry yeah it's 320 320 okay now 320 i think it's going to change hmm, perfectly so you see this is the way we created this guys i've shown you how to create this guys then click on ok let it load a bit you know we are very where we are loading a lot of poly count so you see you can use this process to create chinese roof tiles spanish roof tiles any type of roof tile as far as you are going to visualize this all you have to do is follow this process it's a bit hectic but it's worth it because look we all know it's worth it it's really worth it so let me show you some extra tips on how to create um pore lines let me show you how to do so now click on this let's go for slope glazing nice we have our slope glazing here forget about the slope glazing for now let's let's go to flow first create a section so that we can see it very clearly and then right click go to view okay here is our slope glazing move it upwards so you see our i can put my reach here to close up my my roof okay move the slope glazing upwards then join it to the roof while well, because we are creating pole lines okay now let's edit only use grid 2 use only grid 2 don't use that of grid 1 fix distance 300 300 so what you are going to use is normal 30 mm square and 30 mm square and then click on ok let's see which magic will happen ok if you've seen if you have seen it here is our pole line <laughs> coming out very clean and clear I can see it right so we're going to stop here for today you can see our roof coming out very neat and very clean very detailed okay we're going to stop here for today guys um, because the video is getting a bit too long let's stop here try out this process and see if it is worth it you can continue doing it but if it is too hectic you don't want that so maybe we'll look for another alternative but for now, let's stop here for today. Nice meeting you in this lesson. Let's meet same time tomorrow. Thank you. Please do like, share, subscribe this video. If you have questions, do comment. And if you want and if you have any problem, you can ask me. Thank you very much. See you same time tomorrow. Goodbye.